it is absolutely over here currently it's a little bit cloudy but the sun is coming through you can feel it um not like i get a tan anyway but there's two infinity pools i'll turn it around it's actually just someone's coming towards you so i don't want to think i'll video them but oh my god it's i feel like we should be here i feel like it's too fancy for us um but we'll enjoy it while we're here this is where we are sitting. That is one of our booths. That's one of the infinity pools. So nice. And then you can see all the views. Okay. Yeah. even another one further down and I don't know if you can see but in the pool there's jackets it's like it's like a little jacuzzi in the pool like it'll go off every now and then there's chairs in it but yeah and here's my stuff power I can come back with some liquids how the holiday so far um, let me refer to my attorney before answering any questions no. are you putting a mask on water me it's video me that's why what would you give <laughs> Ravnik out of 10 11.5 and what would you give this hotel out of 10? 11. And how is the food so far? I just have another like 70 questions to ask. Um, breakfast was really, dinner was really nice also. We've yet to try lunch in the hotel, yeah, but that'll well, be later. Well, I presume it would be nice. I'd say so. The food is always nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's a different hotel than the last time, but it's actually Love so much. Food. Lovely foods. That's, That's the main it. thing. I'm going to the gym. A little bit cloudy, so might as well just go because I'm gonna get frustrated sitting because like Kyle's grand chilled and I'm like, no, so I'm gonna go to the gym when I have the chance. But it's cloudy, I'm not able to hear me, but like we are on an all inclusive trip. So you have to go to the buffet, then back to dinner, lunch time. We just grabbed lunch there. I got like a little bit of salt, oh, small bit of salad, potatoes, it's a lot of carbs to be honest, <laughs> and some fish. This is a cheese dumpling. It's weird, but it tastes so good. And then that's Kyle, so we're getting drinks now. It was lunch. That was so close to you picking your nose, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely. What did you have? Started off with a food, and then I moved on to the main course, which is more food, and, and then we finished dessert. with sweet food. <laughs> and some yeah, beverage so he knows. It's nice, isn't it? Nice. 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 Very nice. We are going into the old town. Let's turn around here. Cut it up there. I'm just wearing this little two piece because I'm wearing. My Robin Speezy fit easy, sorry guys, because my feet are a bit sore. Can't cut one of my toes, don't know how. So I'm wearing them um, just for comfort for walking around the town. A little two piece of sheen. And yeah. We're just gonna go and have a stroll around just during the day. See, we might book a boat tour. We're gonna see if we can do some of the caves in the park. And then come back and have dinner and relax in the hotel. Whoops, we're just in the old town. Kyle's not impressed that I'm recording every fucking minute of the day, but however. So we're gonna walk into the actual old town. It's just through these walls here. Whoops, is so handy. It's like four year old return from our hotel. 10 minutes. Four is that way. Of the old streets. So we're just walking down. Some of them have a little nose, you get an ice cream. These are the famous steps to Game of Thrones. What, what is these steps to do with Game of Thrones? What happened on them? Um, Something to do with your one. Yeah, Cersei Lannister. Your one. Walks bollock naked down there, getting loads of shit thrown at it. Yeah, that's what happened. It's not happening right now, as you can see. It's pretty yeah. clean up there. Not yet. 
little cheap too. I was saying, you can see the cable cars going up and down. That little dock moving up and down, that's what we're going on to go up to the very top of the mountain on Saturday for dinner. So many good doggos. vlogging thing. I don't know where I started and where I stopped yesterday but we're on the way to breakfast in the hotel now and then straight to the pool. So that's really a oh, long turn. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Double fuck. <laughs> oh and um, we're just gonna rest, we're ready to go straight to the pool. So we will go straight to the pool then from breakfast. Um, and I uh, so didn't really do much yesterday, it's quite quiet. At the pool, waiting to go for lunch. Because that's all we do is eat and drink and sleep. Um, it's very hot today compared to yesterday. I think it's just because yesterday was quite overcast. So now the sun is really out, but it's grand. It's such a nice chilled day. And we'll probably go into the old town again tonight after dinner in the hotel, just because it's more like atmosphere and entertainment and the nightlife is good and stuff. So we'll probably do that. So it's going to be a bit of a boring day. And I'm probably going to have all these days mixed up when I try and put them together on iMovie, so apologies. Okay, so instead of playing music, I said I'd be very different and do a bit of a voiceover. So this is our boat trip. We are going to the Blue Caves of Dubrovnik today. And that's called Jumped Off Cliff, brave bastard. Um, but yeah, so nice. I was just a bit afraid to bring my phone into the water, just, you know, in case I dropped it or something. But it was such a fab day. It was such a lovely trip. It's four hours long. It was so much fun. And that is a sea urchin. It was so weird. And then afterwards, that evening, we went on the cable cars because we were going to the Panorama restaurant, which is at the top of Dubrovnik. It's so fab, like that is the view. How unreal. I've done a boat today. I haven't vlogged in like 24 hours because I keep forgetting to do it. 20 minutes. <laughs> Properly vlogged. It's turned off your phone. We had to climb up 100 to 200 steps. I'm sweating. I was sweating. And we are at the very top of Dubrovnik waiting to go for a dinner. We've just got the cable cars and I'll show you what we did. We came from. Oh, I didn't even know actually. That like grey area, that white area there. And then we're over here. It's got the old town, the walls, Lockham Island, and then we're going for a journey in this little spot uh, in a few minutes. So, yeah. We're just about to have our dinner. Kyle got. What'd you get? Pork? Pork? Pork. And I got a shrimp risotto. Hey, that's so nice to eat. Look at the sunset. So we got apple pie for dessert. What would you give it out of 10? I don't know. Did you just try it? Nope. Well then try it. Do a taste test. It's just different than at home, isn't it? Yeah. It tastes a little bit similar. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? 10? 9. Nine. Oh. Kyle also got a margarita but told him he might like it and Good morning, we are a little bit rough and ready to stay because I didn't wake Kyle up in time for breakfast but I thought I was open half an hour after the first time so we're just staying in there Thank you time so we're just gonna go home. 
Great. He's got off on that dress. I don't even know if you can hear me on this because yeah, I need to go up and come dress. I just can't get breakfast. It's not a tidy shape, but it's supposed to brighten up in about an hour or two. So I'm going for a walk down to the public beach of High Beach because my parents are staying in Dubrovnik in a few weeks and that's going to be their beach. And we were like, can you go down and have a look? It's so nice. I love the short clip afterwards of what it looks like. Oh my god. We're having a really nice relax last day, just kind of going for a walk, sitting in the sun, eating and drinking, hence the look of me. So this is our last full day in Dubrovnik and we took a trip down to the Pad Beach. It's about a 15, 16 minute walk from our hotel, but my parents are actually staying in this area in a couple of weeks time from us. So I was like, we'll go down and see what it's like for them. It was so lovely. So nice to see somewhere different as well, because it's not in our like locality when we were staying in Dubrovnik both times. And then on our way back up, we went to the cave bar. So we were told about the cave bar, I'd never seen it before. And it was so cool. Highly recommend if you're coming to Dubrovnik, just to take a peek into it. You don't even have to sit and have a drink or food because they don't even ask you you're happy to just stroll around and have a look it's so nice well worth it and even the outside of it just to sit and relax is so cool outside and we just went into the old town that night and then the next day our last breakfast of the holiday very sad very sentimental but your luck we'll be back soon